Hi viewers, I'm Rizikesh and in this video we are going to talk about how we can uh, deploy our Svelte app in GitHub pages. So for that, at first we have to make a Svelte project. So here in the Svelte um, homepage, here we can see we can uh, make a Svelte app by using this command. So at first copy this command and open up your terminal, go to your desired folder and paste this command and hit enter here you can see it gives us some options like vanilla view react preact and svelte we're going to make a svelte app and here we're going to use a uh, javascript not typescript so we uh, choose the only svelte option and our app scaffolding is done now uh, let's uh, open this folder in our vs code so here is our uh, vs code let's make it full screen and here you can see for you i am uh, zooming in so that the content become visible and this is our terminal so this is uh, a default uh, spell project this is our main app.svelte and if we launch it in our browser then you can see the default svelte homepage so before launching the app we have to you know install all the packages for that just type npm install and it will uh, pull all the packages from the npm directory npm registry and um, install it in install locally for our use i think we all know that right <laughs> why i'm explaining this okay so now just type npm run dev and it will you know um, host for host this uh, as well website in the, the local host 3000 port so let's go to our browser and let's go to localhost 3000 and here you can see this is our default Svelte app so our project scaffolding is done and you can you know make your own app here in this source uh, directory and now you want to host your you know uh, website in github pages to show your friends or you know to show your colleagues okay S for that we have to create a new github repository go to the github and you know uh, tap on the create new repository and type a repository name so here in this repository name i type my app okay in the description is optional just type uh, a new svelte app it is a public uh, it is a public repository and tap on the create repository it will create a repository for you and here and it uh, gives you all the necessary commands you have to execute in your project folder so that you know at first you have to initialize a git repository in your uh, local folder then you have to add readme.md this is actually uh, added by the vit app when we at first kept holding uh, our well project and this is not necessary for us now and then we have to commit and you know we have to change the branch name to main okay uh, at first we uh, run all these four commands locally for that go to your uh, project root and type git init it initializes a git empty git repository okay here you can see now uh, type uh, git add dot it means all the uh, files and folders here are in a staging mode okay and then we have to commit these changes for that type git commit and m means message uh, let's type first commit and done now all of this done and we have to link this github repository to with our local repo for that just copy this uh, git remote add origin line and go to your terminal and just paste there and then we have to push our local file to this uh, github repository just copy this and paste it in your 
terminal and you can see that it says that branch main is set to track remote branch and uh, main from the origin okay so uh, when we refresh this page locals wealth app is uploaded in the github now the question is how uh, we can you know uh, use this repository to make a github pages for that we need to install a dependency and this is called the gh pages okay uh, just uh, search for uh, gh pages in npm registry and copy this install guide and just type npm install gh pages but we don't need uh, it in our you know actual project it is just a development dependency dev dependency in short so uh, append a flag a dash d installed in our in our local project as a development dependency we use this gh pages to upload our build directory in a different branch in the github uh, repository okay so at first let's build our website okay for that type npm run build here you can see our project is built in you know <laughs> just a matter of seconds and here you can see a new directory is added this is called dist means distribution directory now we uh, you know add another npm command which is deploy and after the semicolon type npx gh pages d dist okay so this uh, we use this gh pages package here to uh, run inside our project and it copy this distribution folder to a new branch at first here in our uh, github repository we can see that there is only one branch okay so uh, you know uh, when we type this when you run npm run deploy then you can see now here the gh pages copy this dist folder and make a new branch here in the github account let's refresh it so if we uh, switch to the gh pages we can see that our the gh pages npm package has you know uh, push the build directory the file and folder inside the build directory uh, from our local uh, system from our local uh, project to this gh pages branch okay you can uh, get the gh pages link the deployed gh pages link here in the environment okay uh, let's open it in a new tab and also if uh, this environment is not shown in your repository then go to the settings uh, option and type the pages link and here you can see that you can uh, it says that your site is published at you know the url of the app or you can see in deployment tab if we if you uh, click on a view deployment then you can see uh, our app is deployed here in this url okay and this slash my app it is the repository name in which my wealth app is located my wealth uh, repository okay so uh, here you can see that it is a completely blank page and you can see it says that loading failed for the module with source uh, this okay i think uh, this is because uh, our website is served from a subdirectory means less my app so, but in if we see in our uh, distribution directory if we see in our index.html it do not refer any subdirectory like my app or you know like your repository name so it simply says that slash assets slash index or something in in all these links okay in all these link it says simply slash assets okay because of this this page is blank um, because the index.html cannot find all the uh, fav icons or you know all the scripts uh, from our um, generated code to change this behavior we have to go to the vid.config.js and hit the enter button and type base okay here in the base option put a semicolon and here just type uh, your repository name in our case our repository name is my app and just uh, put a trailing um, slash here and type comma and here we can see uh, it is done 
okay we have to rebuild our project to uh, render our website correctly in the github pages type npm run build here we can see it build it gives us a uh, you know uh, warning that base option so uh, should start with a slash let's put a slash to make the compiler happy okay let's rebuild our project and here you can see now all of our um, files inside the this directory is start from the slash my app uh, slash uh, you know uh, url scheme so uh, now uh, let's run our deploy command again this deploy command let's type uh, npm run deploy now uh, the gh pages again pull our uh, distribution directory files and folder under distribution directory and it you know uh, go to our repository and create a branch called gh pages and yes all the changes are uh, pushed here and here we can see a orange button and it says that uh, some checks has not completed yet when all the checks has completed and it will deploy our uh, pages okay in the in the same uh, url so let's wait for it to make it complete if we click on the details here you can see it is building our app so uh, here in the deploy uh, tab it is um, a green tick appear and i think all the build is done let's refresh it and here you can see our app is successfully deployed in the github pages on all the javascript functionalities are working properly okay so this is the video guys if you uh, like the video and if you want to know more about svelte or other any web technologies you can post in your com in the comments and also don't forget to subscribe and also share the videos with your friends so this is it for today and i'm signing off